In the last tutorial, we blocked out the basic shapes of our model. And this tutorial will move it a bit further by creating the area with the dragonfly and the curve here. Let's begin by creating a curve that matches this general half heart shape here. Let's go to our front view. I'm going to hold spacebar, right click and hold on the word Maya and go down to front view. Let's go ahead and go to Create, Bezier Curve Tool. As I create my curve, I want to make sure that I'm paying close attention to how far the curve comes to the actual base of the lamp. Let's go ahead and draw that out. I'm going to left click and hold and drag out two handles here. Click again at the top. Once more off to the side. In the center. Once more on the base, again, just dragging out the curves. Let's hit enter to lock that in. Notice that the pivot has shifted to the center of my scene. Let's go to modify and go up to center pivot. Notice that we have a weird curve here. How do we edit that? Well, with the curve selected, let's right click off to the side and go to control vertice. Notice that the handles that we created earlier are now visible. Let's select this curve here and move it out like that. Now we have a curve that generally matches the shape of the curve in our scene. We're going to have to tweak it all again later once we create the geometry. But for now, we just want something that looks similar. Let's go ahead and start to sculpt out the geometry that we will extrude along this curve. So let's go to our perspective view by holding spacebar, right clicking on the word Maya and going up to perspective. Notice that our curve is all the way back here. Let's go to object mode by right clicking on the curve and going to object mode. Let's reselect our curve and then let's try to line it up as best that we can to the side of our curve or side of our lamp here. All right, let's go to create polygon primitive cube and drag out a little cube. If we'd like our cube to be uniform, hold the shift key down after you began to create your cube. And you'll notice that it'll create a completely uniform cube. Create one that is roughly, um, roughly the same shape as this here. And we can do that by holding shift, right clicking and going to smooth. Let's go to object mode and reselect that sphere. Let's move it to where our curve starts and simply line it up. Whenever you extrude along a curve, it will take the faces that you select and it'll shape them along the curve. So let's take a look at uh, further refining that out. So notice if we look back at our reference, that it actually dips in here when it creates that curve. So let's go ahead and extrude those top faces. Let's hit F to focus and select those top faces. Let's shift right click extrude them in. Hit W and pull them out. Now with those four faces selected, hold shift and select the curve again. Let's make sure that we are again in face mode. Now let's go to mesh, edit mesh, extrude. It doesn't appear that it's following the curve, but it really is. We just need more divisions. Twenty should be fine. Now our curve doesn't match exactly according to what we see here. So let's go to object mode. Let's uncheck our um, select service mesh. And let's go into wireframe. What that allows us to do is see the curve on the inside. Now let's go back into smooth shade review. Right click out here and go to control vertice. Another way of doing it is if you turn on x-ray mode, you'll be able to see the curve and it'll allow us to see the actual image as well. 
So let's just go ahead and, with our Move Tool selected, start to just simply shape out our curve a little bit better so that it matches our reference. Notice that mine juts way out here, while theirs is more subtle. So let's bring that in. Let's also play with the curve itself. Let's bring this down. The next thing we're going to do is select these four faces and extrude it twice so that we create another ball at the end. So let's right click, go to object mode, select that. Let's turn mesh back on. Right click, go to face mode. With those four faces selected, shift right click, extrude face. Let's bring it out. Scale it. Let's extrude one more time. And let's bring those in. We can move this curve a little more on the inside. Something like that. Let's turn off X-ray mode. Doesn't look half bad. So let's go ahead and delete all of our history. Let's go ahead and delete all of our history. So go up to Edit, Delete All by Type History. What that'll do is that'll clean all of our models. What we'd like to do is duplicate this curve around to the other side. So by holding D down, let's just move our center axis to about the center of our lamp. Let's go up to Edit, open up the options for Duplicate Special. And under the first option for scale, type in a minus one and hit apply. And you'll notice we now have a curve on the other side. There's one issue though. If I select vertice here and I want to adjust this so that we have a little bit smoother, it doesn't update on the other side. What we can do is again, go back into edit, duplicate special, go back into options and turn on instance. Let's select our curve again and hit apply. What we will have now is a reference from this object. So if I right click here and go to vertex mode, rotate my ball a little bit more so that it matches. The generic curve here. If I decide to right click, go to edge mode and move these edges out a little bit more so it removes that pinch. any sort of repairs that I'd like to do, you can see that it updates on both sides. So let's go ahead and save our scene. And when we come back, we'll take a look at creating the dragonfly.